As grad student living in Saskatoon, we always complain about two things. First, our supervisor. The second thing is weather. But it's amazing to know that Saskatchewan is one of the most important agricultural regions in the world. To give you an example, uh, Canada is the biggest lentil producer in the whole world in terms of producing lentil. And then most lentil farms are located in Saskatoon. But there is one big problem in terms of lentil production in our province, and it's drought, lack of water. According to seven global climate models, we will have a shorter and warmer winter in the future, which reduces the snow. And in terms of summer, we will have longer and warmer summer. So how could we approach this problem? Limited water resources and on the other hand, higher water uptake. Uh, unfortunately, lentil plants are grown in Saskatoon are drought to drought. But there are some white lentil genotypes grown in other parts of the world, like Syria, Iran, and Iraq. And they are drought tolerant type of genotypes. So if we can cross, if we can identify which of those wild genotypes are good to grow in Saskatoon and cross them with our genotypes in here, we'll be able to solve this problem. And uh, so that's how we ended up doing our experiment. What happens is in dry is a uh, quick evaporation of the water in the soil surface. So the only way for plants to have uh, access to the water is stored in deep layers of the soil is growing deep and extensive roots. And without roots, there would be no water, and they will have breakdown of chlorophyll and of photosynthesis and dying of the plants. But uh, so that's why that screening for root system is essential part for every drought studies. But the problem is the studying of root system under field condition is expensive, time consuming, and most importantly, destructive. And that's why that drought researchers prefer to do their experiment for drought studies uh, in greenhouse with using of growth media instead of natural soil. So we used two growth media, greens great, and then we filled our tubes with greens great because it's famous for rapid and easy suppression of the root. We also used sunshine mix number four for filling our pots. And then at the end of the experiment, we studied and we compared the root structure of our genotypes in here uh, uh, to wild lentil genotypes, which were now to have growth, which were now to have good root system. And we separated our roots from our shoot. And then at the end, uh, we realized that our... Uh